A cosmic titan silent and invisible lurking in the depths of space, a black hole weighing in at 400 million times the mass of our sun. It doesn't blaze with light, it doesn't scream for attention and yet, its presence changes everything. This astonishing discovery, made by the James Webb Space Telescope, isn't just another black hole sighting. It's a revelation that could upend what we thought we knew about how galaxies and black holes came to be. This black hole, one of the most massive ever found from the universe's early years, is doing something unexpected. It's doing nothing. Dormant, sleeping, hiding. Unlike the raging, swirling black holes we're used to, the ones that devour matter and spit out light, this one is quiet. No glowing accretion disk, no high-energy jets, just gravity, raw and relentless. But how did scientists even find something that doesn't want to be found? They looked deeper. Using Webb's powerful infrared vision and spectroscopy tools, researchers focused on its host galaxy, a relatively small one. There, they noticed subtle spectral patterns like faint fingerprints left behind at a cosmic crime scene. These weren't just quirks of data, they were clues. Clues that something massive, something silent, was warping space itself. What they found defied expectations. A gravitational heavyweight, a sleeping monster that somehow makes up 40% of its galaxy's entire mass. For comparison, black holes in today's universe usually account for just a fraction, about 0.1%, of their host galaxy's mass. This isn't just unusual, it's unprecedented and it raises some stunning questions. Did this black hole form before its galaxy? Could it have shaped the galaxy around it, rather than growing alongside it? Was the early universe a place where black holes came first? If so, everything we thought we knew about cosmic evolution may need rewriting. But let's pause and take in the scale. If our sun were the size of a marble, this black hole would be a solid sphere almost 3 kilometers wide and yet right now, it's barely feeding. Just 1% of what it could consume. Scientists call this the Eddington limit, the theoretical cap on how fast black holes grow. But this one seems to be on a diet after what must have been a wild cosmic feast. So how did it get so big, so fast? One theory suggests it once fed at a ferocious pace, in a phase called Super Eddington Accretion, where black holes gorge themselves on gas and matter far beyond their expected limits. Others propose something even more radical. That some black holes were born big. Not from collapsing stars, but from enormous gas clouds collapsing directly under their own gravity, skipping all the intermediate steps. Either scenario would rewrite the rules. Either one changes our view of black holes not as slow-growing beasts, but as rapid, chaotic forces shaping the universe in its infancy. Now simulations are underway, tests of these theories exploring how such a massive, quiet black hole could exist so early in the universe's history, and the implications don't stop at black holes. They ripple outward, touching on how galaxies form, how stars evolve, and how dark matter and energy behave in the shadows of creation. This dormant giant may even suggest a hidden population of black holes we've missed entirely. Most of the early universe black holes we've spotted so far are loud, active, and hungry, glowing beacons for astronomers. But this one, it whispers, which means others like it might be hiding in plain sight, unnoticed because they don't shine. If dormancy is common, astronomers will have to change how they search, not just for the bright but for the silent, not just for the fireworks but for the shadows they leave behind. And maybe, just maybe, these quiet black holes weren't just bystanders in galaxy formation, maybe they were architects, sculptors of stars, builders of order in a chaotic young universe. This isn't the first time we found a dormant black hole. Back in our own galaxy, the European Gaia mission uncovered Gaia BH3, about 33 times the mass of our sun. But this new discovery is on another level entirely. Gaia BH3 is tiny by comparison, and in a universe now aged and matured, the Webb black hole however formed when the universe was still in cosmic infancy, less than a billion years old. The contrast is staggering and the message is clear. The early universe wasn't just mysterious, it was wild, unpredictable, a place where giants were born in silence and reshaped the galaxies around them without a sound. So what's next? Scientists will dig deeper, run more simulations, hunt more shadows. Because this discovery is not the end of a story. It's the start of a new one, and who knows how many more silent monsters are waiting out there in the cold and quiet dark. Before this one pulls you in, hit that subscribe button, because this is only the beginning of what the Webb Telescope is revealing, and the universe is just getting started.